starting now, so we don't have anybody watching quite yet, but it should be coming up soon. And what I am doing is clearing out my opening room, so I want to do other things with it. And let's move the little creeper baby here. But because this is a download of a live stream, I am not going to be talking as much to you, the viewer on the recording, as I will be to everybody that shows up for the live stream, just so you know. <laughs> so there will be times when I'm quiet. This is not one of my regularly scheduled episodes, so it won't flow the same way. I won't have any editing. This is live, and I will try and make it as entertaining as I can to you, the home viewer. Oops. But as soon as we get some people in the channel, I will switch over to mainly talking to them. I don't have a schedule for my recordings. Uh, it's usually in the evenings, Eastern Time, U.S., which I think negative five off GMT. Hmm. I could probably clean that up a little bit. Yeah, let's use some... Let's try lat blocks. I haven't used any lat blocks in a little while. Where are they? There they are. And I need my roller. But I'm cleaning out the room here with the eye to... doing something else with this opening room. Actually, that could just be regular block. Don't need to do anything fancy there. But these... Let's do these first. Hello and welcome to the stream. Did I get it? Get that? Paste it. There we go. Whoa. Obviously, I'm getting a little bit of lag already. Hope tonight's not going to be as bad as the other night. That was pretty bad. That's good. Hello, stream watchers. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Let's make these lat blocks as well. I can grab that. I can't grab that texture. I need to get that. I can get it from the ceiling up here. Grab that. Paint it there. And these... Do the same thing here. Those don't need to be lat blocks, but I got them, so let's do it. And stripes here and here. Hello, Neston. I always keep my live stream video up. I heard you're talking over Netflix, and here I am. How <laughs> oh, you keep it up. <laughs> yeah, Robert, that's a good idea, I guess. Uh, if you definitely want to uh, catch me when I go live. Sorry I don't give a lot of warning, but I never know when I'm going to be doing something that is uh, stream-worthy, at least a little bit. I've been doing some things that are very boring, like tearing all this stuff out. All right, so we got, got the entrance looking a little bit nice there. Yeah, I've torn just about everything out except uh, some of my RF tools machines. And I've been moving it down to the main room. So let me let's see that I can move, that I can move. All right, let's take these out. I'll just break this instead of digging up my wrench a little faster. There's more of it than I thought. Maybe I'll grab my wrench. <laughs> wrench, wrench. 
I want to turn this area into a lobby. And maybe do something finally with the uh, outside of the base. Javier, you got the uh, gaming YouTube app, app and it notifies you when you, your subs are live streaming. So that's cool. I didn't know there was an app for that. I have to recommend that to everybody that uh, wants to be notified. Since I'm <laughs> usually unable to do the notifying myself. Aside from just starting the stream. Which does send out some notice, I think. David, you're getting it ASAP. Not a good idea. Yeah. I might be... I, I'm planning to put this download... I'm planning to put this live stream up for download. I'm finally going to give that a try. I already gave an introduction to uh, the download people before any of you streamers got on. So I said hello to them. You can see I dug a hole in the wall here just for a quick transportation of all of this stuff I was bringing down below. Um, this is like my overflow of some things that I can't turn into EMC and store that way, and it's too much to store in my uh, RF tools thing. I don't like where it is. It's just sort of temporary for now. Uh, but I need to put the... So I guess I can put it right there. Or does it need to be next to them? I think it needs to be next to them. Where is it? Dimension Builder, Analyzer, yeah, Analyzer. Destination Analyzer, that's what I want. And put it sideways so it doesn't display much on the top. <laughs> OMG, is that a payphone booth as a teleporter cover? Yes, Earther Games. Uh, I was using these, let me run down to this side. I did the same thing here in the uh, Galacticraft room for all of the teleporters back to Moon, Mars, and Asteroid Belt. So I thought I'd do it out there too. It's a little bit more intricate design than the ones I built at Spawn, which is where this one goes actually. So these were just a little bit... they're simpler and black to go with a sort of black and white theme here. But uh, I wanted to do my own design in my base. So I've got these. I do need to build another one. And I have the parts for it. I forgot I was in the process of doing that. So let me finish building another one here. Microblocks are fun. Crouching keeps them from joining when you don't want them to, which is nice. Let's see, thin ones up the front. Like so. Oh, no, wait. Oop. Now a thick one. Thin, 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 thin there. Are the screens above the teleporter something new, or are they saw the same screens you were using before? These are the same. Um, actually, I got one over here. I can. I'll need to make another one, but it's the RF tool screens. These things. And you need a screen controller as well. That way you don't have to run power to each of the screens. You just slap it in place. And then the screen controller would go somewhere. I can put it down here. And then when you open this up, you scan. It finds the nearby screens. And you see it's got a display on it now. That was the uh, evidence locker sign, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> which I will now be repurposing as part of the teleporter back to spawn. All right, continue with this. We need 
those and those. Oh, I'm missing thick. Right there. Right there. Put these little green vent things in. Do I have a jelt? I do have a jelt. Now the glass. That right? Yeah, that's right. You don't even want to have micro blocks inside the block space directly above your receiver in particular. I think you can get away with it in the, with the transmitter, but the receiver, it won't transmit to it if, oh, and I do have those inside the block. I gotta put them back one, back here. Because if it's, if, if it even sees a, a micro block, it won't transport you there. It won't take it as a valid destination. Come on, get in there. I need some... Don't have any of those made, so let me carve one up. Some little nooks. I need one there. There there and there that looks right just need another screen oh and then the feet up in the front got those there we go that looks good just wish I could hide the little bit of a green strip you can see at the bottom there I suppose I could put... No, I couldn't put a thin one there. It had to be a thick one. And that would look odd. Uh, what if I took that out? And maybe put in a square there? That or that? So, I mean, the, the stripes aren't too visible, and they're not... I rather like the, hors, the the rectangular look, I think, better than the square look. Too many squares in Minecraft. If you can avoid them, all the better. All right, put these away. That, 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 that. Whoops. Well, I guess I don't need that. Uh, Zane, stained clay, that. I moved a lot of the machines that are up in the open, uh, up in the uh, entryway down here. So I got all the original machines I had in here, and then these, my storage system, temporarily giving power from the back. I'm going to power everything underneath like I did for these guys, using those, uh, Router relook, uh, the relo. Ah, there's router reborn and refined relocation using the refined relocation stuff. I decorated the uh, wall with a bit more chalk while I was make, remaking this thing. And the back there is just a uh, storage unit with my octuple compressed cobblestone stacks so I can keep this thing full. And this is the one that used to be attached to the cobblestone gen. I don't really need it anymore. I just use it to melt down anything I don't need any <laughs> to keep. Nothing else is hooked up to anything, but I've got my 3D printer down here. So I plan on using a good bit of 3D printing up in the uh, lobby. So where was I? Finished that. I guess I should do the the screens while I'm at it. 
I don't think I've got any spares. Oh, wait, I should put down my other RF tool stuff before I, oops, before I forget. I don't want those dimensions to run out of power. Uh, where was I going to put that stuff? I should build like a, a teleportation room. Yeah, it shouldn't be in here. That's the machine room. I guess I'll temporarily put them over here. I guess I put away the RF exciter. Or no, they were they were getting it from the main line. But now they're gonna get their own exciter. Pop, pop, pop. Because this one has the test three world. I don't care about that one. But this, ooh, oh no wait. Okay, good. It was it was, still had plenty of power. <laughs> this block was low on power, but this still had power. That is what's powering my. Uh, that's the desert world where my. Fusion reactor is getting its fuel. It I did have it go out on me overnight when I had it set to 10. Ooh, nice. I'm making over a million RF a tick. I think it's currently set to 8. Get up there. Fuel, yep, injection rate 8. seems to be stable at its temperature, current temperature. Question is, is the fuel production keeping up? Uh, the 62 upgrades that are in my inventory, Robert, are not from... Oh, yeah, it was from that unit, wasn't it? I think that w I, I needed those when I had some other world uh, tabs in there that needed a lot more power. The ones that are in there are pretty low power. They should be okay, but I can I can increase the the count. These are all all right, that one's empty. So that one's empty. That one's empty. These two are full. These two are empty, yeah. These two Oops. Alright, this one is down by one and staying there. So the system's stable at eight. Yeah, it's weird. It's it it starts <laughs> switching over to using these gas tanks. These things drain into the gas tanks when I start drawing a lot of fuel. And it's just the the one that's draining slowly moves back. When this is empty it goes to this one. Then it goes over here, then it goes here, then it goes here. But every now and then, like there, that one's full, and this one will be full, but the next two will be empty. I don't know why it skips one every now and then, but then these are going to be empty. That one's full. Empty on either side of it, though. And then this one will be full, too. And that'll be empty. So that's one here. One, two, three, four. Blank. Nope. That's not every fourth one, because that's five and one, then three and one. Yeah, I don't... I have no idea. Yeah, the gold and the osmium ages are what I needed a lot of power for. Though, actually, by the time I was doing the gold, I plugged that straight into my giant battery. I knew that was going to take some power. <laughs> I didn't want to have to rely on the uh, exciters for that much juice. <laughs> It was probably just some of the other experimental worlds I did early on. And I'm falling through the world. There we go. Ah. Snap back. Snap back. Snap back. No, snap forward. That was weird. That was not your TV. <laughs> that was the game. All right. So it looks like 8 is a stable injection rating based on my fuel setup. I thought 10 would work, but it did go out on me overnight. Of course, by the time I came in, with the reactor off, all the fuel lines were maxed out again, so I couldn't 
examine to see what had gone wrong. I guess I can put down the anvil in here. And like the creeper my daughter made me make. Uh, let's see, anvil can go right. I'll put it here. And I'll put the creeper back on. Oops. Come on. I can't see his eye. Do him from this angle. Whoop. There he is. <laughs> There he is. He can keep an eye on the proceedings. <laughs> I still have not been able to make a uh, princess clam. I've been doing this pretty much since I first made this room. I mean, I've been digging up clams every day. I've yet to find a princess. Whoop. I do have a lot of clam dust. <laughs> so these... Okay, yeah, they are draining. They do need more. They probably don't need all of these, but I'll give them... Oh, 32 or so. How many is that? Two thousand eight hundred. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. There they go. Ooh. That one's... I guess they do need more. All right, I'll give the whole stack. Whole stack. There, now it's charging up. Uh, just wanted to make sure you can hear my voice okay. Game sounds like chest opening. That's coming through okay as well. Okay, I want to do screen. So it's one of those, glass and iron. I had some of those machine bases in here. Or maybe it was in the th last category. I know I saw some. Probably staring me right at the face. Farther down? There they are. One of those. One, two, three, four, five, and three iron. And then the text was, if I remember correctly, so I'm going to need four, five, six. So I need 12 of that. Six more iron. Uh, six paper and ink. Where's my paper? Paper, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, sounds are fine, good. I like to check since I can't easily listen in myself. I think I've finally gotten the whole audio setup working right so that everything gets piped together. Now it's like that. Yes. Everything gets piped together and blended correctly. Large, large, large. This is incoming. Oh, yeah, I need to... Uh, Scan for the second one. And that's... I don't want to... That's not right. I don't like that word anyway. What should it be? be receiving? Should be arrival? 
arrivals and uh, it's not going to fit that what happened there okay <laughs> and then here we'll do spawn nope too far whoa hello yes only three are large the the this one here is normal size if i make it large then it moves the word down a little too far i found that two large and one small spaces it down so the line is right in the middle I really wish you could do that without having to make multiple text items, but eh, that's the way it is. All right. So now I've got this room. I can get rid of the TARDIS. It's almost time for more episodes. Let's see this. Uh, don't want to leave it out for too long. I want to put it in the wall over here. There we go. Get rid of the trash can. Get rid of that thing. Let me answer this text. One of the other Primus guys. Asking what version of this pack are we on? That's 1.0.2. So let him know that. And I can probably just get rid of this door now because I'm never going to go mining by hand down there. <laughs> As it is, I have to go around all the rooms. And I should do something about my nether portal too I heard a pigman down here before I'm just gonna break it for the time being And my bed. Where am I going to put my bed? Hmm. Let's see. Isn't there in Galacticraft there's some sort of sleep chamber, isn't there? If that looks cool, that'd be sort of nice to use. There's also the short range telepad. I'm gonna have to try those out. What's that recipe look like? Oh, that's easy. Yeah, I got plenty of titanium. I think it's a pod. Yeah, I thought it was called a pod of some sort too. It's three tall, so it stands vertically, huh? Where is it? Infinite flux battery. All right, that's creative. I never did plant flags and only my destinations. Oh, that's for, for pod. Nope. Chamber. Nah, too many chambers. Uh, cryo. Cryogenic chamber. It was chamber. Compressed dash, a bed, and tier two heavy duty plates. I got a bed. Let's go do this. All right, it was, oh, I only have four compressed titanium. I can make more. Uh, what was the recipe again? Six. Grabs, oh, did not mean to do that. 
There it is. Oh, I already have some. There's <laughs> some right there. <laughs> is there more? Lots more. All right. So, oh, and then tier two. This is tier three. Oh, no, that's the storage unit is tier three. These are tier one, right? Yeah. So I need two of them at tier two. Which means I need the meteoric iron plates. What, I don't have any more? All right, well. I can see is it mixed with a plate or yes compressed meteoric iron I need another one oh it was dash I'll check Oh, it is dash. Okay. It's a lower tier item. I've got the dash. One, two, three, four, five, six. Heavy duty plates. Tier two. Craft it up. Bed. Plates. Dash. There it is. Cryogenic chamber. So, what does it look like? Oh, up. <laughs> Behold my cryogenic chamber. Nice. <laughs> Good night, Earther. That's pretty nice. I like that. All right. Where should I put it? I could keep it in here. But uh, I think I'll put it up in the lobby. I think that'll be cool. Uh, where to put it? Uh, I'll probably build several. And just have them racked up here on the wall somewhere and decorate them with more micro blocks and things. Let's hop in. Oh, I can do it even during the day? I didn't see what time it was. What's going on here? Oh, okay, there we go. Maybe it was night and I didn't notice. It's definitely day now. Can I get back in? Yes. Okay, so you can do it day or night, but uh, there's a cool down before you can get back in it again. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I need to make a nice display case for those. and I'll make a bunch of them. I've got the blue stripes. I like that because I've got... Stripes, and they're sort of blue, different blue. That's more teal. Very nice. Yes, David, it holds like a rocket. I like that. And I'm definitely gonna like, gonna like having windows up here. Because that was my plan, is to have a window overlooking the main floor. The, the, what did I, oh, that's where the grading comes in. If there's one thing I'm using in my head as a basis for the look, especially of this room, it would be the lower levels of Portal 2 with Cave Johnson, but not quite so dilapidated. That sort of old, futuristic look. And I want to do something out here. Just wish there wasn't quite so much of a slope before it gets to flat ground. Because I really want some roadways. And I'm way up high there. Hmm. I could sort of flatten it out about... Oh, here. Uh, 
Or I could build a retaining wall and get, come up higher. Yeah, I still haven't decided what I want to do out here. <laughs> yep, when life gives you lemons, don't get mad. No, don't make lemonade, get mad. Burn life's house down with the lemons. Yeah, that looks cool. I like being able to see down there. See how much... I've got lots of depth there. I can lower the floor in this area. That would probably be a good idea. Because then I could get my entryway a little bit lower. And the lower it is, the easier it'll be to hook it to a road. And I probably don't want it at the same height as the lamps. So let me put some of this back. Oop, oh, Aaron is trying to connect. Oh, I need to give him some other files. Hmm. How to get those to him without stopping the stream. Got to remember what the files are. I guess there's no way to pause the stream, is there? That That's something that YouTube needs to add. <laughs> well, I can, I can make the screen go black for a second. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Here, let me just... Uh... All right, you'll just have to watch. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Uh... Now... Uh... All right, let me stop the stream, and I'll start it back up again after I've done this. Because I need to give him some files, and I don't want you guys to see what I'm doing necessarily. So I will be right back. All right? All right. Stream will resume in a few minutes. And welcome back, both at-home viewers and the uh, people watching the live stream. Everything should be back to live in just a moment here. There you go. It's starting to start up. People should start seeing things in a moment. All right. Sorry for the pause there and the split into two files, which all the after-the-fact viewers had to deal with, but uh, needed to help out Aaron there. As it was, because he needs to download new Java, uh, it's just going to have to wait. <laughs> but I think I'm going to lower the floor here. Get rid of that hidden door. See, how far down do I want it? Probably about there. And build the floor down two. Let's go into fast dig mood. Hello, Ben. Oh, yeah. The description probably is old. I constantly forgetting to update that before I start recording. <laughs> But once I realize, hey, you know, I could I could do a live stream of this, I just go ahead and start because I was usually already playing. I just uh, so that's when I realized, yeah, this is this could be streamed. So I just quickly turn it on. What am I bumping into? Oh, these things on the wall. So coming down to, this will be here, whoops, a little bit too much. And before I start digging out a whole lot of cobble, let me get my cobble eater. 
One more. Cub leader. Yeah, I've cleared out my opening room here, Ben, and uh, moved stuff down there, including my teleporter to and from spawn. So I'll refresh you as well as everybody who, for some reason, started the second half of this download and not the first half. So I've moved a lot of things down here today before I started streaming. And now I want to get this room up and interesting again. A lobby for my dysfunctional future, retro futuristic company. Good. Oops. Actually, actually, that. Whoop. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> when I built my initial room, I made it centered on the even doors because I wanted to have double doors. So they're easy to go through. But the main room here, as you can see, the, the vertical columns are three wide, so it's got a one block middle. So there is a gap in the wall here of one block, and over here there is no gap. So I can also tear out one wall <laughs> of my room, this one. So I got a lot of demolition to do here to straighten everything up. But thankfully, with this guy, once I stop flying, it'll go very quickly. And it's not like I have to dig the whole thing out. Where will the downloads be when they're up? They will be right here on YouTube. It does it automatically. Uh, I've been, I've set it to not do it automatically. So I will have to release this one by hand when I'm done with the stream. It takes a little bit of while to process, just like it does with a regular upload. But then this will be available for download, including the first part. This is the second part, since I had to pause in the middle. to decide on what to do about light too. Why is this flickering around my head? I got too many things. Let's clear out the inventory. Let's sort it first. I don't need my wrench on me. Uh, don't need that bit of power cable. I will need all that flooring eventually. So I should guess I should keep it. I'm not going to use these lights. I'll need that. Won't need the laboratory block. Don't need the clay. I have a new item here. Where is it? Another ender pouch. Blue, blue, blue. This thing I can toss stuff into that I just want to destroy. It feeds to my... It feeds into a condenser, so it gets crushed to EMC. And one, two, three. The ladder, that. The door. The mirror, the TARDIS. The glowstone nooks. And the trash can go into the main section. There we go. 
Stream viewable after stream. Yes, Ben. I'm going to give that a try this time. I don't like doing it unless I intended to from the beginning. And this time, I did intend to from the beginning. <laughs> Jump splat. Your very first ender pouch was blue, blue, blue. <laughs> I always do white, white, white for the first one. Usually because that's the color of wool I've got. But actually, I don't, can you make them with a color? I guess you can. If you use a colored wool, you'll get three of that color. But uh, normally you set them by right-clicking on an ender chest. on my face. Okay. Just wasn't loading it properly. Take down that, since that's going to have to be at the bottom. Trash pouch was your first one. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Trash is careful. Gotta be careful what you trash. Yeah, everything that doesn't have EMC. Right now, anything that doesn't have EMC that I put in there is just going to uh, sit in there until I get around to taking it up by hand. <laughs> it's not perfect yet, but I just, just set it up a little earlier today. See so that black, and then there's one out here I was missing. Yeah. So what next do I need to do? I guess I should clear out this layer as well. I do like to digging with this thing. And I'm just going to fill in my staircase. There we go. Jam if it doesn't have an EMC or won't get put into the condenser. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the condenser won't even accept it. That's true. It'll just sit in the pouch. That's fine. Okay, this is just behind one of the columns. <laughs> Oh, there's something there. Oh, those are gelt. Okay. That doesn't need to be gelt. Do it with cobble. All right, that looks good. I'm going to need a lot more of this, so let's set up Let's set up a condenser here. Do I have any more spares? Yes, I do. I've got six. Are there any more spare books? Three. Good. So check that down. Stick a book in it and grab... Oh, I need some food, too. Eat a little bite. And where's my octuple? 
Septuple, that's fine. Septuple's good. Fifteen septuple. Nom nom. Oops. Nama nama. And I put that in the wrong spot. I want it in here. And I want to make lots of those. Because I do like this stuff for the walls. Get out my builder's wand. Very nice. <laughs> I do wish that had an undo. And MC Jetty, the maker of RF tools, he is the one who add, who has a new mod called, I think, just wands, that adds a new builder's wand with an undo. And that would be nice. All right, so the floor will be here so now i need lots of these i should have enough to go all the way around the room since this is where they were to begin with maybe one or two short Are you about, uh, Neston, you were about to suggest that, that being the uh, wands mod? <laughs> All right, now for the ceiling. I don't have any of these, so let's make some. Oh, is that not taut? I guess that's not taught. Let's go teach it. Oh, uh, you're going to suggest the builder's wand itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know when to pull it out. I don't want to do all that by hand. You crazy? <laughs> Me, the automation guy? That's probably enough. And get these lights out, because I'm going to do something else for the lights. Whoop, wrong one. They're nice and all, but they're not themed. So much of the, the decorative stuff in Minecraft is either random, like these lights. They're not themed in any specific way. They're just a cube inside a cube. Or things are medieval themed. Which, you know, given the crafting recipes, a lot of Minecraft is medieval themed. But once you start mixing in all the mods... It's really nice to have futuristic stuff. I mean, even that ceiling fan is 
Ugh, I, it's almost in the theme. At least now it's centered. <laughs> it wasn't before. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have any cobblestone. I just have my cobblestone eater. So let me get a piece of cobblestone out of it. And make cobblestone out of septuple compressed cobblestone. <laughs> Jake, you say, isn't there now a legitimate way of getting a super builder's wand or a magister? No, there is. I've done it uh, more than once. Not on this server, but I have done it. I need more than that. It's a whole ritual of, you do it in the end, and you need like one of each record, one of each, not so much the ores, but like stuff you dig out of the ground, so it's mostly ores, uh, one of each potion, and one, oh no, it wasn't one of each ore, it's one of each the things you smelt, and that includes like food and things. One of each record, one of each potion, and there was another category. What was it? Don't recall off the top of my head what the other category was. But there's four categories, and then you have to set them up in four chests with some redstone and string and a certain pattern. And uh, if you do it right, you can activate your sigil a second time and use that. Oh, die. Yeah, that, that could have been it. Was that it? No, I don't think that was it. I could be wrong. I don't recall doing the die, but maybe that's... I don't recall it because it was easy. That's quite likely. Let's do it the long way. Yes, and then once you activate it, you have to fight uh, mobs for quite some time. <laughs> you have to get 100 kills, and the, it spawns regular mobs in the end. What I do is I go out and I put out a whole bunch of um, the, the magnum torches. That keeps the endermen from spawning, so then I just have to fight the other mobs. There we go, now it's up at floor level. <laughs> this, that can stay there. So get out my wand again. Hello, Jake. I am fine. How are you? Yeah, that is a ton, Jake, uh, of, of mob hunting. I mean, they mostly come to you, but... And if I recall correctly, it detects flight and jams it. Or starts hurting you if you start flying. At least it did that the first time I did it. I don't think it did it the second time. And I was rather surprised by that. Ben, you say that the Super Builders want is a lot of fuss for something that is awesome until you miss. Oh, yes. <laughs> then it's just extra cleanup. You say, I usually I usually just use the normal one because of it's, it's almost as fast without bad accidents. Yeah. Without an undo, this one is limited to creating nine blocks. Including ni creating nine blocks by accident. I'm, I'm out of, speaking of nine blocks, I'm out of these things. But the Super Builder's Wand is more like 32 or something. It's a, It's a whole lot more. So when you miss, if I accidentally clicked here, you know, it just creates nine that I have to clean up. But yeah, with the Super Builders one, you can make a really big mess really fast. Welcome home from work, Jake. 
Ronald, can I play with you via Hamachi? I don't know what Hamachi is. What am I building, Jake? I am... This is the, uh, the entryway. This is my entryway to the base. I have moved everything down below. And I'm cleaning it up to make it a new room. That's in theme with the rest of the build. I think I want to widen this a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. And I think that if I put some slopes there, it'll look even nicer. I've only got four slopes left. Yeah, I thought I taught them how to build this. All right, that's good. Stop. Yeah, that'll look good. Now, which glass do I want to use? I've been sort of a fan of the sapphire glass. I've got a lot of it. I also have some clear glass. That might look good. But let's try this first. I don't think I got enough. Did I? Good, I did. That looks nice. Has a little bit of a blue tint, but because the walls are blue, you really can't tell. And the slope lets you look down a little bit better. Yeah. That's pretty good. Though it needs... Hmm. Maybe I should move the glass back one? Jake, you say, I'm jealous of your factory. I always end up building a box made out of cobble. Yeah, I try never to build out of cobble. Never. Because <laughs> I know once I've built something out of cobble, I may never come back to it, and then I've got a box of cobble. But I also never build out of wood because it burns, and I've, had, I've been burned by that before. So I always try and build out of something else. But this is basically a giant box. I mean, it's this is still a box. I, I was not that creative with this build because it's still just a giant underground box. <laughs> it's a little bit decorated, but even the decorations are very regular. It's just these posts, the vertical posts, and then flat wall in between. I mean, it's, it's the accents, I guess, that make it interesting. But even just those simple posts break it up and make it look like a factory and then the green then the good use of textures ronald you say hamachi is a program that you share the local connection land to play with oh i see who don't have an original game or don't have router ports open for the well i don't have this server is not on my local LAN. this is on the uh, primus server and it is run by some of the primus members it is not a public access server, unfortunately. Though we may be, unless any of the Primus members object, and I don't think any of them will, I should be able to put this up for download, this world. I am full up. Let me clear out some things. Okay. Jake, you typically end up making an organic base underground. Yeah, mine are fairly organic. I don't know, you can look at some of my previous episodes, uh, previous seasons to see what my starter base is like. It's usually a small room at the top with uh, that I might expand a little bit with a staircase going all the way down to bedrock that I use to mine when I first start. And then I slowly make rooms off the staircase. <laughs> that's, that's my typical starter setup. 
This one was different because I had this mountain that I could dig into. So I never had to dig down. Well, I dig, dug down inside, but here I am. My entryway was at 110. <laughs> Ernesto asks, what am I using to record? I am using OBS on a Mac. Uh, I'm using Soundflower and LineIn to collect both game sounds and uh, my microphone. Let's see, I think it was right here. That's where I should put the elevator. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, got it. Perfect. Yeah, now this door is off-center. <laughs> I wish some of these doors would do a three way, uh, three by three. That'd be nice. But I don't know of any doors that are three by three. Robert says, I've started a Daybreaker server and have come up with an idea for a space station made of connected 50 by 50 by 50 modules. That'd be a big space station. Make sure you need the room before you're spending all that time on it. So I need to make an odd door. That's no. Oh. Yeah, I could just do one door, but I don't like single block width doors if I can help it because they're a pain to get through. It's just so easy to get caught up on them as you go. Get that out. Just cleaning this up so it's even again. Hmm. Yeah, small. Yeah, jump splat says I like the concept of a small door to a normal sized lobby to a massive building. Uh, Jake, I was never planning on moving or expanding to a mesa like biome in this world. A uh, cat dog started in a mesa biome. Uh, I didn't want to. I wanted to give the watchers of Primus a variety of locations. So I've got my mountain. Of course, I'm mostly inside the mountains. You don't really see it. <laughs> yeah, I could do the same double door, a, a pair of double doors. And that's what I'm thinking of. The same thing I do everywhere else because all my walls are odd based and the answer to that was double doors. And I guess that would work here. So let, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do the double doors. Double double doors. So then over here again, dig out what I just built. <laughs> This isn't the way the outside is going to be, but I'm just cleaning it up to make it look the same everywhere. That'll probably work. Doesn't Blue Power have a drawbridge like Block? block? I blue power having a drawbridge I haven't seen one if it does that'd be nice that's the sortatron I mean mostly it's just duplicating what was in red power and red power didn't have a drawbridge like Brock block if you know what its name is I'd love to hear it there's the deployer but I think that only just deploys one block All of a sudden, a lot of comments here. Uh, be a dwarf and overcompensate the space requirements. I usually do. 
<laughs> I try to. I usually end up filling it, but... <laughs> Three of them right off the bat are going to be a copy of your reactor, the battery of an... Oh, the, what you're putting in your fifty dollar fifty by fifty rooms, Robert. Uh, reactor, a battery, and the oxygen production setup. You're going to need a lot of oxygen production for that large a space. I mean, just my little tiny moon base. I needed three oxygen producers. Oh, three eighths of the first module. <laughs> the deployer, and am I black? Uh, no, it's just my armor. I look like a miner underneath, except I've got striped long johns, so you can't see it. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to break both those blocks. I'm still set to fast. So, how to do the entryway? Hmm. Tinkers has one, yeah, but there's no Tinkers in here. I've used the drawbridge before. It would be nice if there was a frame system that didn't crash me the moment I try and place a frame block in this pack. I could do some sort of frame door. But no, you're, I think, who was it that said the uh, jump splat? Yeah, I, I like the idea of really basic doors coming into something particularly fancy. I run a really, a fairly plain exterior you know actually yeah these doors may not be the outside doors when i'm done they will likely be an inside doors with another building out here so i shouldn't fret over it too much i should just duplicate the same design i have everywhere else because this is not going to be the outside doors now that i th really think about it so let's bring this, fill this in, oops, and fill this in. Deployer is an autonomous activator. Ooh, I did not know that. I've been trying to find a good uh, autonomous activator in this uh, mod pack that was not flaky as all get out. So this uh, deployer here. Piston, chest, cobble, redstone. Oh, let's make it right now <laughs> and find out. Uh, I need to empty out my inventory a little bit here. Probably the easiest way is to just put down a chest and dump into it for a moment. Dump. Keep my wand. All right, so it was a chest, a piston... Piston, 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 piston. Bum, 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 bum. I only have a sticky piston. Am I out of pistons? I wish they had EMC. Pistons are always a pain to make. I'm making a stack of the damn things this time. Uh, some wood and some cobble. Got to make the stacks of cobble I need. That's enough. Right? Four? Yeah, four. All right. Now oh, a stack of redstone. So... Employer. Stack of pistons. <laughs> yeah, Malice has had a garage door, and I used the garage door for... Uh, that's, that's not right. Chest. And I use a garage door for my uh, Galacticraft room. But uh, I don't want it for this door. This is like a people door, not a factory door. I think going with the two double doors, a pair of double doors, 
is a good idea. Same thing I do everywhere else. Deployer. I like the look. It's got a nice design. Now the question is, can it swing a sword? Because really, autonomous activators, if it can swing a sword, or uh, better yet, uh, like a watering can. That'd probably be a good, good way to test it. Get out my watering can. Uh, wah, 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 watering can. Toss that in. If it's based on red power, it's going to need a clock, a timer. But I'm also going to need some dirt and grass. Dirt and a piece of grass. Like that. And I think I've got a clock. There it is. So just stick that on top. And if this is full autonomous activator, it should. It is not. Uh, RF2's force fields, yeah, that's, I've used that in a lot of places. I used that in my prank on, uh, on uh, um, Dr. Ragehard. I don't know if he's watching the stream, so I can't take you to see what the prank is. <laughs> I recorded a little bit on it, but I'm not going to release it until he's had a chance to go and see it sometime tomorrow. I could put a door in the factory and make it custom. I do sort of like the ones I've got. randomly come on. Oh, hello, Colossus. Colossus used to play with me on my own server a while back. They only right-click. Check the bubble info on the left. They have a, oh, they have a, do have an info bubble. Right-clicks any block entity in front of it using the items stored in the deployer. This, for instance, be used with milk a cow by putting a bucket. Well, I mean, oh, it broke the watering can. I forgot. You can't put watering cans... <laughs> <laughs> in the deployer. Well, that means it. That, that's interesting that it it realized it was in mechanical hands and uh, uh, destroyed itself. So that that does work. <laughs> All right. Well, put a hoe in it. Let's give it a hoe, and it should hoe. Of course, it's not dirt right there. Put dirt there. No, it doesn't right click with the hoe. I didn't, didn't notice you there, Colossus, right away. There is, and there is a, a delay. Watering cans probably can't be used. Yeah, Jake, I realize that. <laughs> I could make the unbreakable watering can, but then I'll permanently use lose a heart. So that's interesting. It doesn't hoe. What about if the block is like that? There it goes. Now it hoed. It hoed with the hoed. All right, so I'll have to mess with that. Good to know it exists. And that that is what it actually is. a uh, An alternate deployer. Where's my trash can? So I've got a watering can I need to trash. Trash, trash, trash. I had one in here. Didn't I? Well, I got one over here at my crafting area. Put away the pistons and the wood, and I'm just going to melt down the dirt. Oh, a whole bunch of comments again. Same level, low. Quantum flux is a block that increases tick rate. Not in this version, Ben, I don't think. Minute delay is killing me. Yeah, well, you got the minute delay and then however long it takes, uh, whatever the delay is before I turn and look at the chat. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, also, Ben says jump splat the quantum flux block that increases tick rate as part of the version that is in Horizon. Yeah, that, yeah, that is correct. Colossus says, man, I miss modded servers with Yunnan. That was fun back then. Yeah, I mean, at some point, I am going to be starting a uh, Patreon account very soon, as soon as I finish setting it up. I have to determine what the various tiers will be and what the goals will be. Uh, I'm, and I welcome suggestions from everybody. But one of the things I'd like to do is at some certain level as a goal, set up a Patreon server somewhere where all the all my Patreons can go and play and uh, I can join them. Might be a vanilla or it might be modded. I'm not sure yet. I got to figure out how much it would take to uh, set that up. Yeah, uh, jump splat. We could update quantum flux. We could update a lot of the mods in this pack, but I don't want to make it hard for people to connect. I know Aaron was trying to connect just now. Uh, he hasn't been on this server before. He's part of the Primus group, but uh, just starting this pack as it is requires Java 1.8, which he didn't have. And I've got to give him a couple of server files so that he won't crash when he comes near my base, for instance. So even just the basic stuff is uh, does require a little bit of setup. I don't want to make it even harder by having lots of mods that people have to change. All right, so I don't really don't want these down the middle. Uh, I'm going to let's see. Let's spread this back a bit. Well, I see lots of comments coming over here out of the corner of my eye. Let me look over here. Uh, can you join Zachary? Yeah, well, I mean, with if I do make the server, it'll be for anybody who wants to be a monthly donator uh, to my cause, as it were. That will really help me out and make it possible to set up a... It'll pay, basically pay for a server. I'm no longer running one because I couldn't afford to pay for it. Honestly. Move my... Oops. Ah, this thing is very powerful. Move my fire hydrant down. And it is raining. Let's see if I can use my chamber here. Oh, that's interesting. I'm inside myself. There we go. Rain's gone. McDonald's Steak and Shake. I gotta say, it's Steak and Shake is a billion times better than McDonald's. I just wish there was a Steak and Shake around here. I think there is one coming, but whenever we go on road trips, we always stop at a Steak and Shake if there's only one on the way. <laughs> Imaginary time block. Yeah, that's the quantum flux block that is not in this pack. Or not in this version of the mod that is in this pack. Yeah, Zachary, I'm sorry. Uh, you have no money. A lot of people don't, too. And uh, I, I'm i not going to charge for my videos, for sure. I mean, they're, they're just on YouTube for everybody to watch. But some of the extra stuff that does cost me money... I'll, I'll I'll be asking for some help, and just asking for help in general because you know it, it does take time. And if there is enough people that are interested in more content from me, uh, saying it with a couple dollars here and there really makes a difference. The way I figure it, a lot of people set their set the default donation to something like five bucks, five bucks a month. If you think of that as 30 days, if one of those 30 days, you buy half of my lunch as a thank you for the videos, that's all that five bucks is buying me half a lunch at McDonald's <laughs> off the dollar menu <laughs> once a month. 
which isn't asking much and it isn't you know it, it's it's more of a token than anything else it's like a thank you but uh, that's what a lot of people do as their default they have a lot of people that are donating a lot more than that but uh, yeah I'm gonna give it a try see what happens Colossus old friends are exempt from pay <laughs> um, that may be the case I don't know I mean, anybody who was on my server before, I would like to play with you guys again. And that would be the only other place I'd be playing. So maybe, maybe the old uh, Luminality players might be allowed on as well. I do want to be fair, though. So if there's any complaint, I'll have to think about it. So, yeah. Yeah, sub Z servers run you out of money sometimes. It takes a lot of RAM to run a good one. Yeah, and I've, I have no problem running them. I'm... I'm doing this one behind the scenes, but I'm not hosting it, but I'm just operating it. So I know what it takes. Got my own modded server and it's fun and expensive. Yep. Sam M. Nonsanity. Been watching for a while and just wanted to say I like how you play and the way you submit bug reports and such. Just wanted to say thanks for all the fun. Oh, thank you, Sam. Are you a mod developer that has seen some of my bug reports? Perhaps. Colossus, yay. Yeah, don't don't count your chickens before they're hatched from the thrown eggs. Because I haven't thrown any eggs at you, Colossus, yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> well, thanks, Zachary, if, if you do end up uh, helping me out that way. I don't require it. I, I, I'm, I've put off making a Patreon for so long because I didn't want to ask for the money. But not having the Patreon means that nobody can offer me the money. So, and I won't say no if somebody wants to offer. So I'm sort of setting it up with the mindset that if I don't set up, then I can't, then people can't offer. I suppose people could uh, send me money to PayPal. I'd be happy to give someone my PayPal address, but... <laughs> It's a lot easier with the Patreon, especially if you want to do it as a regular thing. So let's do it up here. Am I out of those? I'm out of those. Make more. Hello, Jake. Sorry your YouTube app crashed. I'm glad you're back. See how many people we got watching? 18. Sam M says, No, I'm not a mod author. I just play with a lot of mods, and I know a few members of the modding community. Okay. So you've seen my reports here and there. Yeah, I try. If I find a bug, I definitely try and report it, because I know I'm going to be playing more, and I don't want to run into the, mod, the bug again. So... <laughs> I want it to be fixed. <laughs> I don't know if I like these stripes there. What am I going to do for this inside? I think I'm going to do all lat blocks. Let's do it that way. So let's put down the blocks I need. And one of these. Did I put the black lap blocks away? No, I still have some here. But I need more. Lap blocks. There they are. And my rolling pin. Yeah, condensers are handy, especially when you just want to get things done. And definitely doing streaming and YouTube recording, it's nice just to get things done. Though I try to only use it for things that I could do normally. No, I don't want to do that. I want that texture out here. And there, there. Oh, I hate when it, it's 
got the wrong look to it. That sucks. Hmm. Benny says, I use Patreon to support a number of YouTubers I enjoy. I'm glad you're going to do it, especially if it might lead to more content. Yeah. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, goals I was planning to put in was some amount that will get me to do more tutorials. Mainly, I want to see if people want the tutorials or they're happy with just the uh, Let's Plays. I can just drag. That's a lot easier. What down the center? Vertical wide stripe? And that sucks. You know, I'm going to instead put this down and then run that texture along the bottom. Oop, the rolling pin died. Rolling pin nine. Neston says, I like the tutorials. I think that is how I found you. Yeah, I, I know I've gotten a lot more views from the tutorials as far as a number of views on that video. The tutorials get far more views than the series, but the series gets more overall views because there's a lot more of it. Two paintable rods, two iron. The thing is, the tutorials do take more setup and work and are a little bit less fun to do. Not that I don't enjoy doing it. I really, there is a streak in me that likes teaching. And the tutorials let me do some of that. Even that doesn't look right. Ugh. Well, what if I do this? Oh, really? I'm out of those? Probably have some more in here. There we go. So now it'll just be this front one that's miscolored. Hmm. Jake says, I would like an in-depth tutorial of Aura Cascade. Yeah, I, I could do something like that. I'm not an expert on Aura Cascade, but I understand the basics. I imagine you used a variety of Minecraft host experience over the years of my MP Minecraft. Do you have a current favorite, says Benny? No, every time I've run a host, uh, run a server, I've used a different host. I've sometimes even switched hosts during the run of a server. And for the most part, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, usually when I changed, it was because one went out of business on me or it was just a different price. So, yeah. Uh, you know the basics, but there's not a lot of content in the more advanced part of the mod. Okay, that's, yeah, the more advanced part of Aura Cascade. I'd have to do a lot more experimentation before I'd be able to do a tutorial on that. Might try, but... Uh, this may be odd, but I'd love to see a base planning tutorial. You always have such well-planned bases. Makes me jealous. Mine are not that well-planned. I mean, really, I had this... I dug into the... <laughs> remember, the, the... You can go back on the series. I dug into this wall, dug out this room, lived in it, had a staircase down to go mining, and then eventually I just went out here and dug a massive rectangular space out. And that's my base. <laughs> And when I want more room, I make little side rooms off, as you can see on my mini-map. It's a tangled mess on the mini-map. I can't do underground. Yeah, I can do underground here. Can't I? Yeah. Back out. There we go. That was not planned. 
<laughs> that is just put stuff wherever I feel like it. There's no planning here. <laughs> like a humongous wall of AE2 drives powered by one ME system. He does make great bases, says Ben. He just never seems to finish them. Yeah, well, that's because I don't have a plan. How can I finish if I don't have a plan? <laughs> Sometimes I can't even decide what texture to use. Uh, this one. That's good enough. All right, where are my doors? Now, in the last, in the Resident Rise series, and everything else before it, really, my plan for a base is usually going to single player, playing around with various carpenters and chisel and z-tones or whatnot blocks, and picking a combination that I like. that can be repeated in some fashion and can go around corners and has a floor and a ceiling design and the wall design and then I just start laying down those walls and those floors and those corners uh, until I get the base that I want. Let's see if I do this like this And then on the outside, let's see, where's that, this one, the 12. Do I have 12? I have 12. And then this can be 12 as well. I should turn these, I guess, into lat blocks so I can get... They really got to fix that. Uh, oh, there's no motion sensor yet. Let's see, uh, tangled messes of bases. That's what I got, Colossus. The, the I bet that the bet the AE2 tutorial took a lot of planning, says Neston. Yeah, it did. I I had to lay out all. The, I had to think about what I wanted to teach, and then lay out all of the blocks that would convey what I wanted to say, you know, build all those designs. Oops. And then I recorded it like four times before I got a clean recording. So by that point, I was pretty articulate in what I wanted to say and could go from step to step and all in one take. Robert Brown says, I like mazes because you can confuse anyone you show it to. Yeah, I do like slightly mazy, but I like to be able to get around easily, too. So that's important. I like that door. That's I like that angle in there. But the uh, motion sensor is going to be a bit odd. Now, where did I put those? I had a whole bunch. Uh, What do they call it? Player sensor? Probably sensor. No. Malice. Yeah, it is player sensor. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. So if I put them on the outside, I can't put them on. Oh, I can. Cool. Even though I put the, the sort of carpeting stuff on the... Uh... Why didn't that open? Oh, because the carpenter's block isn't a solid block. It doesn't pass the redstone signal down to the door. Darn. Huh. Sam M says, an example base planning was your AE room one resonant rise. Amazingly planned. Yeah, well, that was somewhat not so much planned as I went in and built it, and then I tore it all down and put all the pieces into chests, and then started recording and said, here, this is what we're going to do, and I just put it back together again. 
sometimes when it looks like I have a plan and I've, if I have project chests, it's because I built it, I tore it down, and I'm going to build it again on camera. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people say carpenter's blocks drop their frames. I don't see why they would. They're just blocks like anything else. I mean, the slope doesn't add that many more. If it is, there's fewer polys on a, on one of these than there is on a cube because you're, you're missing a side. I guess if they're not textured, then they got the transparency. And then if, if like a forest slows you down with the transparent leaves, then so would the carpenter's blocks. Benny says, in your past series, it seems it's more been that the server has moved on before you have a chance to finish the real base. Yeah. Well, I take my time. I don't, I don't think I've ever finished a base. Uh, because I don't want to finish. I want to keep going. I don't, I don't want to go. Let's see, what's the recipe for these doors? No recipe found. That's the first time I've seen that come up. Now, there's a recipe. It's right here. Glass and iron. Ben says, nice thing about this series, the final base has grown out of the original. Yes, that was deliberate on my part. I, uh, I thought that might speed things along. And I'm glad I did, because I'm one of the only people that's really still playing on this server. Unfortunately. Oh, wait, that's right. I only wanted six. Uh, Dr. Ragehard is still playing here, but uh, with school, he doesn't have as much time. So most of the time, I'm all by my lonesome out here. Is it like that? No. It's on this side. Of course, I can't get in because that's not going to... I have to think about what I'm going to do about that. I really like that slope, too. Uh, what do you think of Minecraft 1.9? I haven't played it yet, Jake. I haven't even played 1.8. I don't really play much vanilla. Chris, I like your video. I hope to see your videos tomorrow. Uh, yeah, these will be available. This stream should be available for download. I'm going to release this one. Sam, I don't think there is such a thing as finished in Minecraft. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Minecraft. There's no end game. I mean, you can fight the dragon and get the credits, but who stops then? Have you ever considered a single-player series? Uh, I really like playing with other people because there's more interaction. There's I could do a single-player series, but one, one thing is when you've got, you're recording the video, you're streaming the video, uh, your computer's doing that extra work, having all the server ticks on some other machine elsewhere on a server does help. So uh, there is that. All right, what if I just put these back up there and then put the player sensors up. I mean, it looks the same from the outside. The doors work. And then I could put the slopes on the inside. That'll work. I can put the slopes there. Oop. Ah. Got to turn down my pick. That's almost as good. I like this better but it doesn't work. So this and that little stripe there, I can live with that. So, all right, we'll take this down, do the same thing. I can't go out that one yet. That was weird. Where'd the other one go? One of them vanished on me. Huh. I lost one. Do you guys see where it went? 
Uh, the player sensors on the sides, or f they, they can't go on the floor, and if they go on the sides, they don't work. At least you, you, they won't pick you up unless you're standing off to the side. I have seen some of the footage, Jake, on what uh, is coming to vanilla in 1.8 and 9, and like the slime blocks went from 1.8, and I've seen a little tiny bit of some of the stuff 1.9 is getting, but uh, I'll wait till it's done. It'll surprise me all at once. I do have, we do have the Hardcore Ender expansion here. I don't think that's going to make the dragon much harder, given my armor and weapons, so... <laughs> So just the one player sensor. See, it's not working for the door over here. I gotta be right in front of it. So what the hell happened to the other player sensor? Just like fall off the ledge here? My magnet should pick it up if it's around. Seems to be gone. What's the recipe? Iron, redstone, glass. I'll make another one. Uh, one redstone. And two iron, three glass. Redstone. Iron. Two iron. Keep forgetting the, the ratio. Yeah. And three glass. There we go. All right, that's good enough doors for now. Though I probably should extend the green. I don't know, the gray looks pretty good. I'll leave it. Let's clean this chest up now. Hello, poison. I'm on again. Yes. Above the door a few blocks up. It's out there. Oh, yeah, there it is. How'd it get way up there? That was weird. Thank you. Good eye, Ben. <laughs> Figured one of you had to have seen where it went. <laughs> Toss it in here for next time. The injection rate for my reactor sham. Let's go over and take a look at it. Because I th think I remember now. I keep, I keep changing it recently. I think it's eight. Yeah, it's set to eight, and that seems to be stable with my fuel production. Fuel production, and that's given me a little over one million RF a tick. So I've got two percent storage, <laughs> with thirty-two trillion RF is only two percent of my storage. I love that. <laughs> you cranked it up to forty-two. That probably won't last for too long, because that's a lot of fuel that it's taken. At 42, I, it's got to be a lot of fuel. Unless there's some sort of bug where it stops taking the fuel at really big numbers for some reason. But I know I can't produce that much fuel, and I don't know, Sham, if you've seen my setup. But if I come out here... I've got 10 salination making brine, one making lithium, 48 solar neutron activators. It's not using all of these at eight. I think it's using to about here. Yeah, to here. So it's using all of these, except a couple. I can go a little bit farther, so I might be able to go up to 10. Mine's not water-cooled. I'm not making steam. I got nothing that can use that much steam. <laughs> I mean, this thing is fine for the water production, making the, the uh, uh, deuterium.
But yeah, I can't really. I went. I went set it up to ten, and it stopped overnight. I don't know if that was like a something bugged out, or if it ran out of fuel. There's no way to tell in the morning because when it was off, the fuel filled back up completely. So I don't know if it had run out or not. So I'm keeping it at eight, since you can only use even numbers. I said that last night, and then somebody checked in the code and uh, confirmed it. Yeah, there was a lot of copper, but uh, I just used my digital miner. I didn't even make a copper dimension. I just used digital miner in my mining age half dozen times or so. Sham has 440k copper in his ME system. Ah, yes. If I had an ME system, I'd stockpile stuff like that, but I don't, so I don't. I only have the uh, stack and a half I have on me. Looks like I got two and a half stacks of dust. And then another 31 stacks here in my spare overflow. <laughs> yeah, th this series has definitely been different. Without the um, AE system, I have no great desire to amass uh, large quantities of stuff. Because I have nowhere to put it nicely. Angel Gonzalez, yes, I will be turning on a a um, Patreon server, a uh, Patreon account very soon as I finish, as soon as I finish setting it up. And I would be happy to take donations from anyone that is willing to give them. I could definitely use some money right now. <laughs> Not that I expect this to be at all as much as I would need to live on. I know I'm not getting that much. A few of the really big uh, Minecraft YouTubers are getting, you know, a couple thousand a month. Most people agree that about three thousand. If you've got a, if you're a family man like I am, three thousand a month is the bare minimum to uh, live off of. And I don't think I'm going to get three thousand people. If if every one of my subscribers donated one dollar a month. Yeah, I could do nothing but Minecraft videos, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I know that's not going to happen. Jake, yeah, AE2, it'll be nice to go back to it with the next server we start. I'll be happy to have AE2 again. But at the same time, it's been a lot of fun without it. My big factory for making my induction battery, I loved that. That was fun. I feel really proud of making that. Felt sad to tear it down, but I didn't need it anymore since the battery is full 18 by 18 by 18. Uh, bye, Zachary. Uh, hope we see you later. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, Jake, I haven't played van vanilla in a long time either. <laughs> Though, if the Patreon server I set up is vanilla, then I, I will be. I don't know yet. Right now, I am between jobs, so I have a lot of time for YouTube, but I am actively searching for a new job. Uh, once I do, my YouTube content is going to slow massively down, because right now I can put in several hours a day to this, and I won't be able to do that once I'm working. If the donations get up to maybe like a thousand, I can slow down my search. If the donations get up to that point before I get a new job, I can slow down my search a little bit because that'll tide me over a little bit. But for me to keep doing videos and uh, I'd have to get up to 3000 a month. Like I said, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it did, then I would consider this my job and I would put out a lot more content. I would do lots of tutorials. But that's probably the one of the main things. I'd still do a Let's Play, but I'd probably do a lot of tutorials, too. Let's move this down now that, to the floor and get in it again. <laughs> Colossus says, I don't think that as long as I've known you, you'd ever say you'd play vanilla. Well, yeah, I like, I, I'm, I'm enjoying roughing it without AE, so maybe I'll enjoy roughing it in vanilla. 
it's been a long time since I did pure redstone logic stuff. That was fun when I did it, so I wouldn't mind doing that again. Jake asks, hmm, I heard you say you worked on Fallout 3. Did my ears deceive me? No, I did work on Fallout 3. I did the uh, the uh, user interface, all the uh, menus that pop up, and the system underneath it. I did that for Fallout 3, Oblivion, and Morrowind. Elder Scrolls 3 and 4. Morrowind was 3. Oblivion was 4. I did not work on Skyrim. If I'm just sort of wandering around this room, it's because I'm contemplating what I'm going to do with it. Does DecoCraft add curtains? It, no, oh, Malice's adds curtain. No, the curtain doors. What do those look like? Let's get some wool. Wool, wool, wool. Got a bunch here. If I put curtains around this... Oh, okay, it really is a door. Oh, that's nice. So what if I put it like this? Huh. Oops. It would be really nice if you could stack these. No, you can't. Or can you? Oh, I placed it. So if I expand that, I crouch place. Nope. Darn. That'd be nice to put curtains all around the thing. <laughs> Well, got a lot of comments again here. Uh, Colossus, remind me how many years ago we met. I have no idea, Colossus. It's been a while <laughs> since you joined Liminality. Uh, done the math and you need six SNAs per millibucket a tick of lithium. Oh, the solar neutron activators. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. Uh, the reactor for each injection level and remember you can only do the evens but for each injection level even add odd it requires uh 300 tritium and that's uh, for a 30 second period it requires 300 millibuckets and each solar neutron activator converts 100 millibuckets in that 30 second time period so you need three solar neutron activators for each one level of injection rate on the reactor. That was my calculation. It acts, those solar neutron activators act weird in the way they output their stuff. That's why I switched to those pipes. Those are cool. <laughs> Those are... Oh, how'd I get two of each? I got more. Is that a bug? Now, that, now they're not stacking. What's going on here? That is a bug. Look at that. It's duplicating. I now have six. So when you put two down, they link. And if they're open, if, if they're closed, does it duplicate? It does. <laughs> well, there's a duplication bug, but it just makes more curtains. So, I mean, that's not too useful. Not that I like use bugs, but uh, still, it's good to find them. Yeah, it's duping. Sam M. Wow, man, I loved Oblivion and Morrowind. Well done. Thank you. But Jake likes modded Skyrim. 
Colossus, I'm going to go with four. Elder Scrolls, four. Elder Scrolls, four. Sweet roll? Sweet roll. I don't get it, Jake. What's sweet roll? Let me. I thought DecoCraft had some curtain-like stuff. Let me... Let me go down to my deco craft table and see what it's got. Where'd I put it? It's over here. Uh, let's see. Art. Bathroom. Bedroom. Beds. The curtained beds, but that's not what I want. Salt and matching salt and pepper shakers. What's this? Oh, metal ingots. Barbed wire. I could do some of that on the outside. Holiday. Not going to find what I want there. The only problem with Deco Craft is it gets your hopes up. <laughs> that there's something you might be able to use. But there's so little in here that fits with my theme. The glass table, yes. But that's about it. Paper stacks. Some of the science. I mean, I've basically gone through all this stuff and picked out everything I could use that doesn't look out of place. But no curtains, it seems. And there was much sadness. Yard. You can get a pink flamingo. And we're back to bathroom. All right. Four years since we met Colossus. Yeah, I guess I can believe that. It's been a while. So, time to lay out this room. Let's get busy here. Now, do I want to do it like an office? Because I've got these... Go down. These dividers... I was going to plan on using them up in the room. So that's Rowan and Vect. Oh, I used Vect for that, huh? <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's 1.30. Let's see. There we go. I have only 19 Rowan panels, but I got some more blocks. And Vect. Was it Vect or is it Jelt? It was Vect. Zero. I'll have to make some more Vect. Uh, I have 12 Vect panels. Take eight of those. Oh, still making curtains. Let's run back up. Boop. And duplicate some Vect. Tossing that. Oh, really? I didn't teach it Vect? I thought I had. I used a lot of it. There we go. I like that you can use the chalk on the wall. I don't think it does anything. But it looks cool. There we go. Should be making me stacks of Vect now. Getting a little bit of lag. Are you guys seeing any distortions? Could I 3D print some curtains? I can't do the diagonals. But I could do something like that with a 3D printer. Uh, yeah, I could do something. Even if it's just like my giant pictures. The murals I made. Alright, I need my saw. Which is my last saw. I'm starting to run low on it. There we go. Oh, I need to make these down to covers as well. Uh, to pack. 
panels, covers. All right. So let's see. If I have people come in, there should be a main front desk. And then behind it, a panel. So if I give four, let's use these as placeholder blocks. If I make a desk like that, and then space behind it for some office chairs, a little bit of space behind that, right here would be the wall. Oh, that's right. The uh, My floor is raised down there, so it, it, the dividers look right. Hmm. Don't know if I want to do the same thing in here. I could, I guess. Uh, bye, Sam. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hopefully you don't have any bed bugs. <laughs> You're welcome for the fun, and I will keep enjoying the game if you do. Jake, you're going to bed too. You have work tomorrow. Should be a responsible adult, but really don't want to. <laughs> yep, well, glad you have work tomorrow. I, I, I miss going to work. I mean, I've in the time I've been out of work, I've been doing other things that basically are work, and I do get some pay for, but it's not quite the same. It's not my profession. It's just something I got appointed to do as executor of an estate, two estates. But uh, it would be nice to get back to work again. So I sort of envy you. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun projects in my career, and I, I miss not, I miss having something interesting like that to work on. A curved desk. Well, you're asking a lot of uh, Minecraft there, Colossus. But something like that might be slightly possible using 3D printer. So come in. I could make a... Uh, I gotta figure out what name this place is going to be running under, like an, an industry. I could put the name printed on there using the 3D printer. Oh, Jake, you work at a Steak and Shake. Nice. <laughs> Send me some uh, burgers and fries. <laughs> You've been doing a lot of more pixel art and stuff than MC Colossus? You should definitely check out the 3D printer. I mean, there's a limit on how many pixels you can have, but you can stretch them. So you can make some interesting stuff. Can you 3D print the bottom half of the divider to look the same? He, Neston, thank you. Great idea. Great, great, great idea. Let's do that. Let's, uh, uh, what was that? 3D print, uh, open computers, 3D print. Somewhere here was open programs, I think. No, that wasn't where it was. GitHub. Nope. I should have bookmarked that site. Right, there's the 3D printer. That takes me back to open programs. Maybe it is in here. It's not where I got it before. 3D print viewer. Hologram editor. No. All right, come on. There's got to be... Maybe I did do a bookmark for it. Nope. Uh, 
Well, I think I will do that. I just can't remember where. <laughs> Let's see. Open computers, 3D printer, viewer. Oh, maybe this is it. This is it. This is it. Found it. Found it. Working demo. Yay. Good. Okay. So let's get a basic one here. Go with diamond block. Uh, we want to make it thin and tall. So if I do like 15. Our covers, that's thickness or... No, it's the next... It's too thick. So 14. I think that's right. Now I just got to get the texture. Where is my texture picker tool? There it is. Click that. Blank 16. That can't be right. Let me try putting down a block of it. There we go. Zones colon set slash Rowan Rowan underscore parenthesis zero. All right. Let's see if I remember all this. Z tones colon set slash Rowan Rowan underscore space parenthesis zero spray space. Rowan Rowan. I think I got that right. And we're not going to call it block of diamond. We'll call it. Um, uh, what do they call those cubicle walls? Partition? Partition base? That's good enough. Copy-paste. All right, uh, wrong way. Run down to the 3D printer. Uh, edit partition base dot 3DM. Missed the B. Paste that in. Save it. Print 3D. Partition base. Oh, wait. I didn't want it to be full size. I want it to be half size. <laughs> Got in a rush. Uh, let me trash that one. Because it looks just like the other thing. Oh, let me make sure it's oriented right. Looks like it is. Yeah, okay. It's right. So let's delete that. And now go back and shorten it upwards by half. So eight. Or do I want it a little bit lower down now that I can adjust it? exactly the way I want. Four. Uh, five. Four. Let's go with that. Back to the printer. Remove partition base. Edit partition base. Paste that in. Print it. Let's do it on regular floor. That looks good. Let's combine it with seamless. Very good. All right, let's make a bunch of those. <laughs> Give me 63 more. There we go. I love the 3D printer. Am I on the right side? Yes.
<laughs> Thank you, Neston. That works perfectly. Let's see it. Do it on. This side. Oh, I can't do it there because that's in the same block. Uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. The uh, the micro blocks can merge like that. Well, actually, they can't because it's the same thickness. What did I make them thicker down there? I did. That was how I got around that. Actually, put it down, then make it thicker. I think I had them on the inside, too. Where is it? There it is. So... So, yeah, I can put it... I can put it there. But I can't put it down here. So I'd have to cut the 3D print shorter to make it fit. And then it won't look the same on the end here. So if I do that, then it gives me then the inside. Question is, will the 3D print still fit there if I cut off, looks like, four from the side? Let's give it a try. So that would be shortening this down to 12. Copy that. I could make it part of the 3D print. It'd be nice if it was more modular than that. Oh, why is this... Not enough energy. Maybe I need up, uh, some uh, upgrades on that. Yeah, I'll make sure I bookmark it. I've had that tab open in its own... It's been sitting here for, like, weeks, and I think I just closed it earlier today. <laughs> Not a week's, but a week, maybe. All right, turn on. I guess the uh, 3D printer drained all the power. <laughs> the uh, hot tip causes uh, takes a lot of power, I guess. Uh, edit. Partition. Corner 1. 3DM. Paste that. Print three three D partition corner one. And we'll just make one to try this out. See if it does it. See how smart it is. Aha! It worked. Looks a little different on the inside because it displays, but I could just make this part be a print as well if I wanted to get that fancy. Coincidence that you should close the window that you don't use for a while the day you use it again. Yeah, <laughs> Niston. I knew I was going to use it for this room, but I wasn't planning to do the room until later. So now I can lay down some more of these and oops. Yeah, I think I will have to make a cutout version of that. All right, let me do that. That's easy enough. Just have to stem this back down to the ground. And this is, oh, I call it base, corner, top. Copy, paste. Corner, 
corner, top, paste, print 3D, partition, corner, top. That should work, but I'll give it a try first. There we go. I like how smoothly they integrate with uh, microblocks. That is very nice. So you need a water cooler from uh, DecoCraft. <laughs> I can probably 3D print one, though. <laughs> this room will have a lot of 3D printed stuff in it. It might be a bit laggy. I guess I got to decide what's going to go in here next. I really hadn't decided yet. Some desks, some of my office chairs. And I don't know if I'll be using this elevator. I'll probably actually make a real elevator, which has these in it, but it looks like a real elevator. If I do that, then it's going to have to be on this side of the room. Let's see, where does the... All right, so there's the pillar. So it'd come down... Could have it come out of the pillar, I guess, but that'd be a little bit... I'll sort of throw off the whole look of the thing. It'd be nice if, if I hadn't put the teleporters right here. <laughs> I could have the elevator come down the center part there. I could have changed that one to be the elevator and then have the elevator sort of in the middle of the room. Should I set the... Should I frame the entire window with these carpenter's blocks? Or does that look good like that? I don't know. I'd, the, framing it all around will look too spacey. And I don't want to look too spacey. Yeah, I don't want the elevator in the middle of the room. It really should be off to the side. One side or the other. I guess put it on this side since I've got all the blocks there. So if I have it, again, I'd like to have double doors, but it would be uneven. No matter where I put it, it would be uneven. Darn that. Malice's doors needs a three wide door that splits down the middle. There should be no reason why I can't do that. <laughs> Guess I'm going to have to think on the idea for a little bit before I go any farther. I'll probably be 3D printing a desk, and i got the office chairs. And there's going to be so much 3D printed in here. <laughs> so much. And it's a non-functional room. It's just decorative, like my crane. It's too bad you, you, I'm at the same eye height as the crane can't see quite as many of its details from right here. Double slide left or right door. Yeah, that'd be fine, but it's still double and I need triple. Or I have an elevator with a very narrow door, which looks weird. There are plenty of elevators that have a very wide door. So I'd want to have it three wide. But as far as functionality goes, this elevator block works fine for now. If I can think of a good way to add in... It's strange being able to see into that room up there from down here now. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's not just a big white block up there anymore. 
It's another space. Three doors that open up and down. That's... Do the, does Malice's have... Malice does have one that splits in the middle vertically. Doesn't it? I seem to recall seeing somebody doing that. Probably need to make the... Uh, maybe this one does it. But it can use the, uh, the, the door maker, door factory... Iron door, iron, piston, redstone. Let's make that real quick. This could be the last exploratory before I call the end to the episode. So that's that, and two more. What else? Ah, lime dye. Don't need lime dye. No, that's a block mixer. This one's the factory. Door factory? No, door factory. Two redstone piston. So I need two more iron. Two redstone. One of those stack of pistons I made. So door. Piston. Redstone. Iron. There we go. I'm going to assume it doesn't take power. Materials. Never use this. All right. Sliding up and down. That's going to be what I want. Uh, requires redstone. Doesn't require redstone. Double door, yes. Sound type. Does it play? Oh, it should play them. Um, shht. I'm going to try glass door sound. Now, what material? Let's pick a material. I'm hoping it can use chisel and stuff. Let's just try some laboratory, laboratory blocks. Some materials. Top block, bottom block, and we'll use some Vect for the frame. Great door. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't want to close. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, you guys have been talking. Uh... Door maker, yeah, I got the door maker. Swirl door, yeah. Hello, Dizzy Aaron. Yes, very late. I'm getting ready to wrap it up. <laughs> you can change doors after making to stick it back in, yeah. But yeah, that 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 could work. Let me make another one of those. Get some more materials. See how it looks when it's doubled. Create. Hmm, maybe I should just do the frame as in a uh, laboratory as well. Let's get a whole bunch of those. So modify, door to modify, that. I can't change the materials. Well, that sucks. I'm going to just make another one. Create. Blip, blip. Create door. Create another one. Try these. Nope, not you. Go away, door. You. That could be a double elevator door. I, I could go with that. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. You're right, Benny. If they're double doors, then and I do need three of them. Great door. What happens if I put a third one down? Yeah. Well, this will... This should be okay, because then I only have to wire up two of them. I don't have to wire up all three of them. I can keep them double. That'll work. I mean, if I... Let's see, let's get some... Put some blocks here. Oh. Play some blocks overhead. I did have that one extra player sensor. So let's grab that. If I put that there... Okay, it's just going to do those two. And that one won't won't detect me. Unless I'm a little bit closer. It's okay, Aaron. I know you don't have a lot of free time. But uh it's it's random as to when I do this anyway. Yeah, Ben, I know only two will open up, but if one of them gets a redstone signal, then both of them will. So if these two are double, like that, all I have to do is give one of them a redstone signal, and they both open. So I only have to, only have to worry about wiring up two of them if it's double. So that'll be fine. But I will have to do something like what I did with the garage door. Because one player sensor won't do. And two won't work very well either. I mean, if they weren't double doors, I'd still have to wire them all up. So let's go down underneath here. Well, I can't get too far underneath. I should have made that deeper. So which block are they on? They're not on this one. Okay. So if I get some redstone out, redstone, there we go. And do I have any pressure plates handy? I'll make the invisible ones eventually, but if any, yeah, there's one. So four of them. Shrouded silent. I can't tell because they're silent whether I'm tripping it or not. Yeah, I could make the garage doors, but these are cooler. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't I wasn't using these pressure plates. They're not working. Yeah, if I get down here, I can run some alloy wire. Let's get some of that out. Where is it? There it is. Why can't I place? There it goes. Oh, the redstone is still over there. <laughs> Taking up the block. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think these pressure plates are working right. I don't know 
what I did when I made them. If I just trash them as far as I'm concerned. Let's put them in the chest over here. Trash them later. I'll just make some basic stone pressure plates for the moment. Stone. Okay, why isn't it closing? Redstone's off. Player sensors don't work underneath subs. I could run alloy wire on the top block. That might work. Yeah, that would work. I didn't do it in the garage door because the player sensor would have been up too high. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, David, that's that's that was what I was originally doing on the garage. Why yeah, these It must be set to like Let me look at these doors again. Whoa, crash. Okay. Not a whole click, not a complete crash. Just a drop. Hello, Alex. And fall through the world, fall through the world. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I'm good. Modify. Not these. These. Can I put them all in? I can. Auto close delay. Two. Three. Modify. Oop, wrong spot. Oh, you can put the player sensor on the floor. Inter oh. <laughs> Interesting. Did not know that. All right, so if I put it up here. Okay, they do close. So run just some red alloy across like that. There we go. Yeah. Much easier. Uh, there. I just had a blind spot because, like I said, when I did the uh, garage doors over there, I started with that, putting the uh, player sensor above and redstone along across the top to link it. But the player sensor was too high and it wouldn't pick me up down on the ground. Now again, they're staying open. They're staying open after they've been unpowered. Huh. Something about the red alloy wire keeps them open. That's interesting. And even when the red alloy wire is gone, they stay open. Huh. I wonder what's different about that between that and the redstone. Because the redstone works. I wonder what the red alloy wire is doing differently. Still, that's going to work. Uh, what's the recipe for this thing again? Iron, redstone, glass. 
redstone one iron redstone iron glass what are you guys saying they don't work with red alloy you knew that already <laughs> is that a known thing for some reason redstone iron glass Oh, no, you figured that. Yeah, I figured that, too. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll work well for a three-wide elevator door. Nice thing with the player sensors on the outside, it opens when you're pretty far away. Yeah, it's opening when I'm out here. But from the inside, you, inside where the elevator actually is, it can be pretty close before it triggers. All right, well, let's set this up. Let's see. If I'm going to do it on this side... So there's the column... And I want to put it in the middle here. Ah, never stand on RF exciters. You can't get off. I made it. So I guess this will be the elevator room here would be about this big. Make it a little bit higher. Of course, I'll decorate it, but it'll be a block lower, too. <laughs> All right, so the doors, let's put some floor down here. I want to do something better than that eventually. Oh, got to do it from the outside. And I got to move these things. Where am I going to move them? Where would be a good place for them? I guess up with all the other other ones for now. That will do. Uh, can stick them here and there. What else was it? Other oh, just dimension inscriber. Does that take power? No. So I'll just stick that down here for now. All right, good enough. These are getting plenty of power because they're attached to the main line. All right. Oh, you haven't seen this before, Aaron? I, uh, I just wanted a... Uh, it's because I wanted a three-wide elevator door. <laughs> it's the only reason. So we'll have red. Uh, unfortunately, with the redstone, I can't hide it behind covers like I could with red alloy wire. It sucks. The red alloy wire doesn't work. Uh, I wonder if any of the other. No, it's probably going to be the same. It says blue alloy wire. I've never made any of it. it. It behaves slightly differently. I guess it's worth a shot. See, blue alloy. It's an alloy furnace, testolite, and silver. 
Okay. Where's my silver? Silver, silver, silver. There's three. What's the ratio? Four to one. So I need 12 testolite. And I've got one of the alloy furnaces over here. Need some fuel. Uh, let's give it an Eternalist fuel, <laughs> a block of Eternalist. Why not? I'm not going to move it again. Two elevators for symmetry. Oh, I, I see what you mean. One over here. No, just one. I don't mind that sort of asymmetry. I mean, I'm not going to keep these things here forever. That was just a temporary place. But I can put something like a closet there, you know, if I really wanted visual symmetry. So I got some of that. And what is it, the same thing? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's give this a try. My player sensors... Nope, same bug. Damn. That sucks. I'm not surprised that it's the same bug. I mean, it's the same mod. What else is there for... Redstone, power transfer. I seem to recall there's something else. Test light is alloying with itself. It was alloying with silver. Can you put the test light down? Well, maybe if you put the test light down by itself, it probably won't. Let's grab the test light out of here. Oh, I see. Yeah. It looks like it's doing something. It must need one more piece of silver. To complete a recipe that's in that it's already started. Let's try that. I bet it uses two at a time. Nope, nope. It was just a visual glitch. Nest and requires redstone. I think that's just that it, ma it makes it like a um, an iron door where you can't open it except with redstone. Now, that's true. I'd, I think that's a good idea for these doors since I don't want people clicking them to open it. So I can, I'm can i willing to make that... Ch oh, there it went again. I'm willing to make that change because it is a good change. I don't think it's going to make a difference... With a red alloy wire, though. Can't see why it would. Uh, door. These doors. Requires redstone. Modify. Alright. So, let's try it. Nope. Didn't fix it. I got an idea. What about if we do it from the inside? I mean, it's probably not going to make any difference. <laughs> They're out of sync. But it maybe it's working better. All right, let's try this. Got to get rid of these doors. They're annoying. <laughs> uh, OK, 
Okay. Did I miss a piece? All right, well, let's take off the uh, double door. <laughs> Maybe I should have just done that from the beginning. Am I going to crash again, Mr. Box? No, okay, good. Uh, modify the door. It's not a double door. Modify. Watch this fix it. I just shouldn't have should have made that change from the beginning. I think the off signal is just coming from the one player sensor. <laughs> Yeah, Ben, I'm, I'm using it on the inside to see if that made a difference. And it did make a difference, it just didn't make it any better. <laughs> I could try the blue alloy there, too, but I have a feeling it's going to do the same thing. It's like a living Monty Hall problem. Only one of them can be closed. Door number one, door number two, and door number three. Pick a door, any door. You pick door number two. And behind door number one is a goat. Do you want to change to door number three or stick with door number two? Always change. The only one ever closes. Very strange, very strange. Let's go back to regular redstone. And it just automatically works now. Except I can't get out because there's no player sensor there. So I knocked it off. Yep. Works beautifully now. <laughs> okay. I can live with it. I can just put a cover on the outside. It'll stick out a little bit. But if I make it a frame around the whole thing, we'll be okay. Like, uh, I'm not going to use these, but if I did just place covers around the whole thing, I could hide the redstone. Yeah, if that was just like white... That'd work. Yeah, Robert, I could print a thinner cover using the 3D printer, but, you know, if it's going to stick out, it might as well stick out. I mean, it's not a problem. And on the inside, that's probably where the roof will be anyway. So uh, it'll be hidden there. So let's take these yellow ugly things off. They're just for the ugly partitions because nobody likes partitions. That's why I made them an ugly color. Plus, I've worked in offices which the partitions were that color. <laughs> well, almost that color. So let's try... I got Fort. Let's try Fort. Fort or... Zane. Let's do Zane. Zane is a bit more of a texture, but it's closer to white. Actually, it's got those spots. I forgot about the spots. Don't like the spots. Forget Zane. No more Zane. <laughs> fort. There's a reason why I use Fort for my walls. <laughs> See, it's a little bit more beige, but and it's got... 
Even that's not perfect. Ben, I wasn't trying this issue when I played the Melis just previously. I wonder what changed or hasn't changed yet in your vision, maybe. That could be it. It could just be a bug that's been fixed. You're off to bed. All right, good night, Ben. I should be getting to bed myself. It's too, Oh, yeah, it's late. I think I'm going to stop here. Done a good bit in changing over the front here. And this is the sort of thing that just takes too long to have in an episode. So as a live stream makes much more sense. And in the, also a download. All right, well, I, I, actually, I could play the music. Got to play the outro music. Where's my outro music? Where's the outro music? Music. Music. Outro music. And I don't want the long one. And don't want cute. Don't want iTunes. Let's just do it like this. There we go. <laughs> now it feels like the end of an episode. So I'm going to work a little bit more on this. Come back for an episode featuring the changes. So this is Nonsanity. Signing out. Take care. Be good. And see you next time. And I'm really off there. I usually add the music afterwards. It's the intro that I actually talk over the music. So I can get it timed right. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. And for everybody on the download, hope you enjoyed. See you next time for the live stream. <laughs>